so the next essential for consideration is consideration must be real and competent consideration must be real and competent we have given the mnemonic r for this line or this requirement from the word real so that you can understand it or remember it more effectively now consideration must be real and effect uh, real and competent what does it mean a consideration should not be illusionary consideration should not be illusionary or imaginary or something which does not exist now can you think of something which is not real which is illusionary which is imaginary i'll give you an example how about i give you an offer saying if you give me a lakh of rupees i'll give you mukti or nirvana now possibly in spiritual terms nirvana mukti liberation salvation this concept would be of a lot of importance but in the eyes of law mukti is not tangible you cannot see it you cannot feel it you cannot touch it so in the eyes of law it is not considered as consideration i may also give you an offer saying if you give me 50000 rupees i'll give you happiness now how do you define happiness how do you gauge happiness how do you measure happiness how do you experience happiness you cannot all this is illusionary all this is imaginary in the eyes of law these things do not have any value in the eyes of law these things cannot be expressed in terms of money so consideration should be something which has some value it can be expressed in terms of money can you express sleep in terms of money can you express hunger in terms of money can you express love or happiness in terms of money no you can't so there cannot be any contracts wherein happiness is the consideration wherein sleep is the consideration wherein love is the consideration law does not recognize any such contracts and if such contracts are made such contracts would be assumed to be devoid of consideration and hence they will be void contracts law will assume that there is no consideration present in such contracts and thus these contracts will become void 